I think it's so awesome. I would like to thank whoever it is at Blizzard who decided to buff the Phoenix so it can shoot and move at the same time. I'm a Protoss player, so I'm probably a little bit biased. But either way, it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch. We got to give it that. And so here they fly a couple missile turrets over here. And we're at, we'll just, eh, we'll just fly right over them. No big deal. We have so many of these paper airplanes, it really doesn't matter as, I mean, there's just so many. All right, here's some Hydralis. We'll pick all these bad boys up. And you guys know the routine, kill a bunch of Hydras, probably even enough to kill the Zerglings if we felt like it. Best to probably just go for the drones, though. And watch all these drones melt away. Pick them up, pick them up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Shooting gallery of flying drones. You cannot get this at a carnival. You can only get this on Husky StarCraft's channel. And there we go. That is amazing. Phoenixes are so fun. What other game have you seen this many phoenixes in? I can't think of a single time that you would ever see this many phoenixes, or phoenix eye, or whatever. There's not even any drones made over here. They probably ran away. Yeah, two drones now alive for this player. He's even, he's even getting cool enough to split them up. <laughs> Look, he's trying to mass queens. That build only works when you are on our team. Now getting some spore crawlers in here, but I don't think you can kill this many phoenixes that quickly enough, no matter how much air defense you have. And what's the APM here of the little one? I'm just curious. Eh, 137, not too bad. He's currently at 190 uh, in real time, but overall he is currently at 130. Eh, a couple of Hydralis, no matter how much air defense you get, it does not matter. What do we got going on down here? Mass Roach. Okay, maybe he's trying to go for the ignore the Phoenixes and kill the units build. Uh, Marines, though, once again, are over here locking down Red Scare's base. Here come the Phoenixes. They're pissed. The Marines are running desperately for their lives, getting picked off. The slow, fat Marines will be the first to die, and the Phoenixes are going to kill all of them in the end. But now we have so many Phoenixes, we do decide to switch to Void Rays, as we just have so many Phoenixes. I mean, wow, oh, how awesome is that? How awesome is that? If you guys are not getting nerd chills right now, then you have, I don't even know, some sort of disease, because this is absolutely awesome. This mini phoenix is just able to kill that entire army of roaches. Oh, one lucky roach here, and not so lucky after all. So there we go. That did finally get taken out there. It looks like, who is this? Me expanding like a total boss to the bottom right. Bright side is expanding to the top left. And so here we go. Going to continue flying around here with Team Phoenix and soon to be Team Void Ray. We're grouping up all of our Void Rays down there. We aren't going to quite watch those just yet, though, because our Phoenixes are still the bulk of the action. And one lucky shot from that missile turret there. Not going to be enough. He does have missile turrets spread out as as much as he can afford. I mean, like he's even putting some over here. And he's got them all over the place. So they should have done that probably a little bit earlier. And hello, drone. Hello, drone. No, this isn't even going to get any drones here. Poor Brightside. I don't think he's had a single drone survive for more than like 20 seconds as we are definitely picking on him then in that regard and here come the phoenixes that's the phoenix theme song i just made up and look how fast they kill overlords they don't even care about mr Earth. how funny would it be if phoenixes actually had disruption web as well and if you guys remember starcraft 1 disruption web it locked down those types of build well locked down everything under it so that was always entertaining to do as phoenixes are looking cool. They're running out of units to kill at this point as there are some units left over here. I love how the phoenixes, they can just be flying by and killing overlords and killing these SCVs which aren't even mining anymore because why not? We have so many phoenixes, it doesn't really matter. As, oh, some hydralists. Maybe we could turn around and kill some of those. What's going on down here? Mass Marines. So this guy, he knows what's up. He's going anti-air and I think he's going to kill Red Scare's Nexus once again. No! Actually deciding to go for Liquid TLO's Nexus, but my Marines, or my Zealots rather, are going to eat quite a few Marines before they do get mowed down. He was forced to use that Stim Pack, and this guy leaves the game as we fly in and kill all of his drones, but we're going to kill his drones anyways. For those of you who don't know, if one of your allies leaves the game, you, you, uh, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically your units cost less if, if, uh, so if you have an ally leave, you get their minerals, and the first one to use them, the minerals from your ally goes towards your units. So say you only have 50 minerals and you want to make a spawning pool. If your ally that left has 150 minerals, then you're, you'll be able to build your spawning pool because that would be 200 minerals total. So now we do have the sexy Void Rays in here. I'm actually controlling the Void Rays while the Phoenix, I don't even know where they are right now. But I'm controlling the Void Rays as who doesn't love to watch this many Void Rays kill stuff. And let's get rid of this crap. We don't. We want to just experience the pure power of these mass void rays, as they are absolutely awesome. And Phoenix are yeah, they got really nothing to kill anymore. As this missile turret trying to work as quickly as he can, but there are just way too many Protoss air units. Protoss air dominance, baby. 
with this many Phoenixes. And there we go. Oh, they were patrolling there, looking pretty sweet. And there, do it, do it, do it. Come on, Phoenixes, yes, how awesome is that? That looks so amazing, I gotta agree. And let's see if I can do it with some Phoenixes here. Uh, not quite, close. Didn't quite get it that time. Here we go. I can feel it right now. I can feel it. Yes! This is what you do when you win with Mass Phoenix, is you spin them around into circles, and you feel totally awesome. So, here we go. These are going to get charged up so fast. Kills that almost instantly. I, I think they're killing stuff too fast. They're not even going to be able to charge up. Look how fast this mini Void Race kills stuff. He, look how many four crawlers he's throwing down. He's already, he's, the ones in the back have finished, but unfortunately, it's these ones that need to be done. And there is no way this amount of sport crawlers, especially when they're not done, is going to kill this. I mean, it's pretty much, yeah, there's no way. He tried. He does have quite a few sport crawlers here, but we can just, you know, plow through here and kill these. No problem. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye, sport crawlers. One guy's trying to brag or something. He's still getting roaches. And the only thing he's going to kill is a couple of zealots. The phoenixes are onto the roach already. And the the Void Rays are onto the Zerg base. You know you have a lot of Void Rays when they can kill all of the Broodlings in like half a second. That is when you know you have way too many Void Rays. So here we go. We're going to watch these guys kill all these Roaches. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so goodbye, Roaches. It has been nice knowing you as these Roaches are definitely out of here. I love, I love the sound of a dying Roach. I don't know about you guys, but... I love it, love it, love it when a roach dies. It's just like, ah, ah. That's what it sounds like. Hopefully that's not picking up like super loud. But if I was a roach, that's how I'd sound when I would die. Oh, this looks so awesome. This is so fun to watch. Maybe, maybe I'm a little biased towards our team because we're the ones completely obliterating people with mass phoenix and mass uh, void race. Oh, doesn't that look awesome? You guys have got to agree that that looks awesome. And even a little overkill on the larva, but that's okay. We are the Protoss, we do not mess around when it comes to Zerg scum, as we are, well, I don't know, we're cleansing this land with our with our awesome, awesome Void Rays there. So, Phoenix killing the last few remaining units, one lucky drone. How lucky is this drone with all these units flying around, all with a bunch of Doom Rays flying over here, I don't know how lucky he's going to be. Oh, there he goes. He's. I think he was the last unit alive, like on this entire map, for the, the opposing team. Void Ray, Void Ray, charging up your laser and killing. Like, imagine this many Void Rays fully charged. That is just insane, like how fast they kill buildings. It's almost instantly. And apparently they haven't left yet. I think they all have only got, what's he making? Oh, he's making some drones. This guy has got this, man. He is going to get this by putting hatcheries everywhere. And that is just how cool he is. He is going to try and run around. And I'm flying Void Rays all over the place. There we go. I found it. I am on to you, you blue Zerg clot. And I think he has an expansion up here. Yeah, we should be able to lock this down. But anyways, this game was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Going Mass Phoenix in 4v4, pretty fun. You just got to be careful in the early game not to get super rushed by Marines or Zerglings, as obviously Phoenixes are not very good against those, until you get so many that it doesn't even matter at all. So all these buildings are going down. There's the GG, I believe, from the last guy in this game. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 4v4 with pro gamers is very fun, pretty one-sided. But in the 4v4s, we just like to mess around, have fun, go crazy builds. I mean, you guys saw the mass queen. We've gone mass. What else have we gotten mass of? I don't even remember, but it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend 4v4 and 3v3 if you're kind of the casual gamer and you just want to have some fun. It's a good way to practice opening builds as well. One thing I like to recommend for people who are trying to get better at StarCraft 2 is I, when I was playing Brood War, I would play 3v3 and 2v2, or 3v3 and 4v4 very, very heavily because what I would do is I would ignore everything going on in the game except for my opponents. I would just play it like it was a 1v3. So I was playing as best I could, as safe as I could, and then just working on my macro and my micro when I needed to. And really, if you lose a 3v3, like, who cares? Like, no one cares about a 3v3 record. So that is a really good way to get better. And also having TLO on your team doesn't hurt either, which was his final APM. 131, controlling these Phoenixes around for half an hour almost. So that is some pretty good time. So I don't think I have anything else to say about this game. It's a lot of fun, though. I recommend doing 4v4. It is so much fun. So that is that, and I will see you guys next time.